Welcome to Cooking on the Kenai. I'm going to show you today how to make baking powder biscuits. Okay, so on my counter, I have all my mise en place completed. I have all my stuff laid out, ready to go. My oven is preheated to 450 degrees. In my bowl, I have one cup of flour. Remember to stir your flour when you measure it. You need two cups for this recipe. So I stir my flour and I measure another cup to go into my bowl. To that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of baking powder, a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to combine that with my fork. To that, I'm going to add half a cup of shortening. You have to cut the shortening into the flour to get it all incorporated. You can do that one of three ways. You can cut it in with a fork, you can use two butter knives, or you can use a pastry blender. I have always preferred to use a fork. It takes a minute to get this done. Stir your flour and your shortening around to make sure you don't have any large lumps of shortening in there so it all looks uniform. Okay, once you have that done, you're going to add three-fourths of a cup of milk. Um, my suggestion is to add about a little less than that, so you add almost three-fourths of a cup. Leave out about two tablespoons. So in case you um, have too little flour in there, it doesn't end up being a drop batter because you want these to be rolled biscuits and not drop biscuits. My dough is coming together, but I need a little bit more milk because it's a little dry on the bottom. So I add another half a teaspoon or so. So my dough is all mixed together. I need to lightly flour my board. And take my dough out of my bowl, put it onto my floured surface. Gather it up in a ball, roll it around a little bit in the flour so it's all covered, and then you're going to knead this 10 times. So you're going to fold it, push it, turn it, fold, push, turn, fold, push, turn, fold, push, turn, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The more you work this dough, the tougher your biscuits will be. So now you want to pat or roll this out until it's roughly a half inch thick. Your biscuits will double in size, so you want them pretty tall. So you want to make sure you have this about a half inch thick. I have measured on my hands, so I know that a half an inch is the size of my thumbnail. You can make biscuits using a biscuit cutter any kind of a cookie cutter or a glass and what you need to do is kind of run it around in flour to so that your biscuits don't stick. You can cut these fairly close together. If it starts sticking, dip it in some flour so that it won't stick to your cutter. The closer you put your biscuits the softer the sides. The further away you put your biscuits from each other, the crispier the sides. Depending on the size of the cutter, you will get anywhere from eight to 12 biscuits. When you finish cutting out the first time, knead it 
one or two more times to get your dough back together. Pat it back out again. I usually pat it out into a rectangle so that I can get my cut, my dough cut evenly. And then the last dab of dough that you have, just knead it into a shape that is roughly the same height as your other biscuits. Put it on your cookie sheet. You are going to bake this at 450 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes and they should be lightly golden brown when you pull them out. Our biscuits are now out of the oven and as you can see they're a light golden brown. They've doubled in size and when you open them up they are nice and flaky. I hope you enjoy the biscuits that you've made today.